Want to look super professional with your social media content and be able to post consistently? Batching and bulk creating content with systems that allow you to work smarter instead of harder. In today's video, I want to show you how you can create 240, yes, 240 pieces of social media content in under 10 minutes. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first step here is to come to ChatGPT. If you're not familiar, ChatGPT is an AI tool that you can sign up for and have it generate text for you from different prompts. I'll have the link for it in the description box below in case you'd like to try it out. So let's say I'm making content content specifically for elementary school teachers. I'm going to come into chat GPT and give it a prompt that says something like generate 30 tips for elementary school teachers. Then chat GPT is going to go ahead and generate all these 30 different tips for teachers, which I'm then going to look through and make sure I like all of them. And if I do, I'm going to click and drag to highlight all of these, right click and choose copy. And then I'm going to come over to Google Sheets, start a new spreadsheet, and then click here in the top left corner, right click and paste. Now I've got all of my different tips here in the spreadsheet. And I'm going to do the same thing again by coming back to chat GPT. And instead of tips this time, I'm going to ask it to generate for me 30 motivational quotes for elementary school teachers. Helpful tips and motivational quotes are two great sources of content for any social media account, no matter what type of target audience you have. Okay, so it's given me 30 quotes that I can use, which again, I'm going to just highlight, right click, copy, and I'm gonna bring this over again into Google Sheets into a brand new spreadsheet and paste into that top left corner. So now I've got my 30 quotes here and I've titled this spreadsheet quotes. You can see I've titled the other one tips. And now I'm going to download each of these spreadsheets as a CSV file. So I can come up to file, click download, and I'm going to choose comma separated values, which is the .csv. That's the file I want to download as. I'm going to do the same thing to download my quotes list, file, download, CSV. And next we're going to move into Canva. Now, before we start working in Canva, I do want to let you know I have a free gift for you. If you're interested in creating social media content and you just feel like your creativity is running dry sometimes, I have a free guide that's going to give you 95 prompts for different social media content that you can create in five different categories. These prompts are definitely going to come in handy when you feel like you're running dry on creativity or skating close to burnout and just need some help or some simple prompts to get you going again. So that's a completely free guide. You can click to download with the link in the description box below. Now, before we jump into Canva, I want to make sure we're clear on the numbers here. This video is about how to create 240 pieces of content. So we've just downloaded 30 tips and 30 quotes. So what we're going to do with each of these lists of 30 is that we're going to create four different types of content. Two of them are going to be in video form and two of them are going to be in graphic post form. So the video you can use for two different platforms being YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. And then the graphic post that we're going to be creating can be sized for Instagram posts and then resized for Facebook posts. So though you're only using 30 quotes and 30 tips, it comes out to 240 pieces of content, which actually could even be more than that if you add in the Instagram story size. It's a really smart thing to do to repurpose across platforms. So that's exactly how we're going to be creating our content today. We're going to click to create a design and search for the size we want. I'm going to start with an Instagram post square size. And once I'm here on my canvas, I can come over and search the Canva templates for something I'm looking for. So let's start with our tips list. I'm going to just type in tips and choose one of these templates to use. So now I can make any adjustments on this that I like in terms of fonts and colors. I'm going to change these to my brand colors. I'm going to change the fonts over to my brand fonts, making sure that I'm using fonts that are easy to read. And since this is for tips, let's say I want to get rid of this little bottom box. Maybe I'll add in a cute little flower element here. I can just really play around with this and make it my own. And then the next step is to come to apps and I'm going to search the apps for bulk create. This is the bulk create app, which is what's going to allow me to do this super quickly. So I'm going to choose the option that says upload data, go to my download section, and then I'm going to upload that CSV file that I just downloaded from Google Sheets. So I can see here, this is my tips CSV. I'm going to open that. And then the next step says connect data to your element. So I'm going to choose the area on my design that I want it to import to. So that's this text right here. And once I have this text selected, I can come to these three dots and choose connect data. And this is the data field that it's identified from the CSV. CSV file that I uploaded. So I'm going to choose that, click continue. And here I can see all of the different 30 fields that I have from my CSV file. I want to select all of them and click generate 29 designs. So here we can see it has generated the same design, each with a different tip from our CSV file, which I can use as is, or I can go through now and make some changes on these if I'd like. Then I could do the exact same process again for my quote CSV, since these are all the tips. If I wanted to create 30 more with quotes, I could again come to the template section, search the templates for quotes, 
choose one of these that I'd like and go through that whole process again using the other CSV file for quotes. Then once we've got all of our Instagram square size posts created, if we have Canva Pro, we can easily use this resize and magic switch option to resize it to something like a Facebook landscape size or an Instagram story size. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro and you'd like to try it out, I do have a link for a 30 day free trial in the video description box below if you'd like to try that out. And all you would do is just click on this resize and magic switch, and then you can input what size you want, either by inputting a custom size or searching for Canva's preset sizes. So I might search for Facebook and you can see here they have one that's a Facebook post landscape orientation. So I'm going to click continue on that one, copy and resize. And here I've got all of my different tips in the new size. So you can see this is not a square. This is a landscape orientation. So I can either again, use these as is or make changes. If I wanted to stretch any of these elements out to fit the new size a little bit better, I can resize and do whatever I need here. And that gives us a whole set of 30 tips and 30 quotes in the new Facebook size. So that's how we create our graphic posts. But let's come start again to create our social media videos. So I'm going to come to create a design and search for reels. I can see the size for Instagram reel here. So I'm going to choose that. And again, come to the template section and search for a video template. I might type in something like teacher tips because I'm going to be looking for something that applies to the content I'm going to be putting on it. And if I hover over a video, I can get a little preview of what the actual video looks like. So let's say I like this. I'm going to click to add this template to my canvas and we'll change out the background video in just a minute. But for now, let's focus on our text again, changing out the fonts and colors in this design to be what we want them to be. We can delete any elements that we don't need to use. So let's say we just want a simple box with this simple text here for our tips and quotes. We're going to go through the same process of using the bulk create app. So find the bulk create app, go ahead and choose upload data. And again, we're going to upload our CSV file. So let's choose quotes this time. And then we need to select our text where we'd like the quote to go. Click on the three dots, connect data, choose the field that it's showing here. And we can see now it's going to input our quotes here in this text area and then continue over here with all 30 of these selected and generate the designs. So now we can see here at the bottom, I've got all these different pages of designs, each with a different quote on it. And I can go through and select this to make any changes. Like if I wanted to maybe put a little space between the quote itself and the author, I can do that one by one if I need to. And then I can also change out the video one by one. So if I want to change this background video out just so they don't all have the same video, I can either use my own video that I'm going to upload into Canva to use, or I can find a stock video by coming to the elements library. I might type in something that the specific quote is about. So this one is talking about education being the lighting of a fire. So I'm going to type in fire, come over to videos, and I can scroll through these videos and see one that I might like to use. And if I find one, I can drag it over and it will take the place of that background video. If I'm not happy with the way it looks on there, I can continue looking at different ones until I find one that I feel like looks good with that quote. Then I'd go ahead and repeat this same process with the bulk create app uploading my tips CSV and create different videos with tips on them. So to download, I'm going to come up here to share download and under file type, I can select the type of file I like. So for videos, I'm going to download it as an MP4 for my graphic posts that I created earlier. That would be downloaded either as a JPG or a PNG. Now, like I mentioned before, if you're running low on creativity and just need some help to think of some content ideas, definitely click that link in the description box below to download your free guide. That's my social media content prompt vault. It's it's going to give you 95 ideas in five different categories for types of social media content you could create. Also, don't forget about that free 30 day trial for Canva Pro. If you haven't tried out Pro yet and you want access to lots of amazing features, including that magic resize tool, then definitely give it a try. I think you're going to love it. And I hope this helps you to level up your social media game. Talk soon, friends. Okay.